Jess, it's always great seeing you. I have to apologize. I wasn't at the uh, CCMAs oh. this time around. How was it for you this year? It was awesome. This was such a great year. Um, it was a little bit extra special for me this year, being at the Canadian Country Music Association Awards, being that they were at home in Saskatchewan. So they were right there in Saskatoon, just a couple hours from my house. And it was it was awesome. It's a big family reunion. What is it like when you get together with everybody, you know, with all the performers and everything, uh, the performers you've been, you know, with for years and seeing even the new emerging country music art? Honestly, it's a little bit hectic because, you know, everyone is in one place at the same time during CCMA weekend um, but and I hate to word it like this but it is a work weekend for us it's a really busy weekend and it's a really important weekend for all of us in some way shape or form so it's hectic because there are people coming and going all the time and you might you know Dallas Smith might walk, walk in and you'll give him a hug and then you turn over here and you start talking to Madeline Merlot and then you, one, one second and Megan Patrick is over here so it's it's amazing and um, we all get to most importantly, it's hectic because we are all so excited to celebrate everybody's successes throughout the year. Your success has been amazing. I know you hate it when I say this, but how does it feel being in that role of literally, I would say, the Canadian country music artist for female artists? I mean, you've won, you know, female artist of the year several times. I mean, you are a role model right now. When I talk to younger artists, your name is always mentioned. Oh, wow, that's insane. Um, honestly, thank you, first of all, most importantly. Um, but it's crazy because when I look back on, you know, just a few short years ago, people couldn't even say my name. And they were sitting here saying, you got to change that. That'll never stick. And I'm sitting here like, tell me one other person that's name sounds like Moskaluk. And it's, you know, so... Um, it's just crazy to think about how far we've come and how my, my team and I have built such a strong r relationship and, and what we feel is, is a hopefully a long-lasting career. But we're just really proud of everything that we've done, and, and I wouldn't change a thing. Now, to have a long-lasting career, you have to have music. You have a new album, correct? I do. I'm so excited. Oh, I've been writing this for, like, honestly, some of the songs I've written a year or two or more ago. Um, so I've been sitting on these songs for a really long time. So it, it's, like, the biggest excitement and, and relief and happiness and nervousness and butterflies to get this to finally get this all out. I want you to say the name of the album because I think it's really unusual. I gotta ask you, once you give us the name, why you chose that name. It's 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 unusual. Yeah, so it's unusual for a couple reasons actually. The name of the album is called Past the Past. Um, the reason that I chose that is because there is a song on the album called Past the Past. It's unusual because this is the first time in my career so far uh, that I've really had an actual theme to an album. Um, this was not intentional. Uh, it, I, I, honestly, my, my, my biggest strategy when I record albums and choose songs is just that the best song wins. It's as simple as that. Whether I wrote it, whether I didn't. It, if it's the best song that I can find at the time, it's on the record. Um, so I was going to release six songs, and I found the six songs, and when I was done, I thought, these are, some of these are pretty sad, and, you know, there's breakup songs and songs about moving on, and, and, you know, and that's really not where I'm at in my life right now. Um, and kind of just, like, serendipitously, a song called Pass the Past came across my desk in my inbox, and I loved it, and I knew that I had to record it because it just tied everything together. Um, the song is about getting past the past and getting over it and realizing that you wouldn't be where you are today had it not been for all of those maybe misfortunes or mistakes or wrong turns in your career, your life, your personal life, anything. Um, and I realized that that's the perfect way to su sum up where I am in life right now. Um, I wouldn't be this happy and I wouldn't be in this career or in this life or this relationship or this path had it not been for all of the mistakes that I made in the past. Um, so that's that's kind of the, the short story behind it. So as, as I'm sitting here waiting for you to do this interview, I'm watching this music video. I see you dressed in black. You've got another woman there who's like the badass mafia woman. Yeah. What was I watching here? Because talk about women of power in this. Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, I've never really... What I love about the video for Kill Your Love, which was my last radio single, um, is that I have heard, even just today in doing a press day here in Toronto, I have heard probably four different explanations of what they thought the video was or what they thought the song was. So I kind of thought, I don't, 
I don't want to tell people what I think it's about because I love that all of these people are right. Um, but women of power in that video, I loved that it was a woman that was the mob boss kind of thing in, in the situation. I just, um, I, I really liked the idea. My, my director on that video was Joel Stewart. And one of the other treatment ideas he had was similar to this one in the way that we wanted to twist some gender roles a little bit. And, uh, and I thought that that was a really cool aspect. So we wanted to keep it. Is that important now? Because there are so many things going on right now in the news going on with women, uh, women dealing in this business, whether it be Hollywood, music, things like that. Um, is it important that women today show their own strength? I mean, we had back in the 60s, the burning of the bras and things like that. But it seems like there's a revolution going on again. I mean, yes. I but I think that if you're comfortable doing that, I don't think that you need to say, I'm good at cooking and so I wanna stay home and cook for my husband. I don't think you should necessarily feel like you have to fight for that. And, and vice versa, if you don't want to and if you wanna go work and if you're, your man wants to be a stay at home baby daddy or whatever that is, I, I think that you just need to be comfortable and realize that um, these roles are changing and whatever you are comfortable with is, is what you should be doing. Um, I just so happen to, believe that within the country music industry there there can and should be more females on the radio um, so that's something that I'm comfortable speaking out about you know, one of the things I was happy about too Juno Awards recently and they talked about how many women uh, were nominated I think it was even more than men same thing with um, uh, I was thinking about TIFF there were more female directors so wow. to me these days uh, it seems like women are taking that role and showing that, you know what, stereotypes, out the window. We're sure trying. Um, I mean, I, I, obviously I can't speak for every woman, but I can only speak for myself. And um, it's never been something that I've intentionally set out to do and be like, I'm going to be this or I'm going to be that. I just, I'm going to be a musician. And um, it's kind of crazy to me that we have to say that I have to think in my head, I'm going to be a female musician. It's like, no, I, I, I'm just going to be a musician. Um, and... I'm sure that's what every woman or every other one of those women thought about as well. I don't think that they were ever like, hmm, where are there not enough women? I'm going to go do that. I think they were just like, hey, this is my strength. This is my talent. This is my passion. Um, so I'm going to go do that. And who cares if they think I should be a man or a woman? I'm just going to be who I am. One of the things you're going to be doing today, something very cool, uh, YouTube. Yeah. There's a YouTube show. We'll explain that, please, for folks who have never actually had a chance to be part of it or watch. Okay, so the cool thing about this is that we are going to be playing a show um, here in Toronto tonight. Um, you can tune in from anywhere in the world at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, you can go to www.passthepass.ca. And I want you to just get in your pajamas and curl up with a glass of wine or some hot chocolate and just hang out. And we're going to answer your questions, um, as many as we can. Uh, I'm going to have my friend Paul McGuire host it. So. Um, we're going to play some songs off the new record. We're going to play a couple old songs just for fun. But I want it to be really interactive. So it's live on YouTube. And hopefully we're going to take some of that video content and re-release it later on. But tune in, please, because it's not a party without everyone at home. Looking forward to that. Look, I know you got a lot more interviews to do and stuff. i got to ask you, holidays coming up. Any plans yet, or is it too early? Ah, you know, we don't really have any plans yet, um, but we really don't do a whole lot, and that's kind of the way I like it. Um, I love just being home with my family, and um, that that's kind of, those are the big plans, actually. I know that sounds really boring, but to me, that's, that's thrilling. There is nothing in your life that is boring, so don't even try. We just talked about YouTube, and you're like, yeah, my life is boring. Please give me a break. Uh, any uh, tour happening, hopefully, in 2018? Yes. That's all you're going to give me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Look, do me a favor. Say hello to Paul for me, please. Yeah. Great guy. Congratulations with the success. Website, Twitter, all that social media. Where do we go to follow you? At Jess Moskaluk on everything, www.jessmoskaluk.com. And tonight, please tune in, www.passthepass.ca. Thank you so much. Thank you.